Me at the uh, Tex-Mex keyboard roundup. Hey, Tristan, uh, what time is it? Um, it's time for you to get a watch. How's everybody doing today? I'm pretty stoked for today. This is the Fox Lab 65. Time 65, sorry. This was shot over to me by Click Clack. The packaging on this is really nice. It's got this almost like old timey kind of texture to the box. It's got like this old like paper look to it. Kind of, kind of cool looking. You have here 65% with an eight degree typing angle. And on the back, you have another shot of the kind of the layout on the top. Fox Lab, designed by Fox Lab since 2017. So they've been around for a while. So I think it's safe to assume that we should be getting a pretty good product. Really nice unboxing experience as well. I opened this up to check out, make sure everything was in here before the stream. So you have this little protective thing to make sure nothing inside is flopping around. Everything's branded in these nice like envelopes as well. A little sticky Velcro, by the way, so it's not gonna like rip the paper. But we have some foams and a shorting out like protective sheet for the bottom of the case. Pretty nice that they're using Velcro. Usually these things get ripped up whenever you're trying to like open up stickers and stuff. So that's a pretty nice touch, I would say. And this one has some shims and some feet. And here seems to be our plate or our PCB. This is definitely 1.2, I would say. It's pretty flexible. Really nice looking PCB. You can tell that there are um, the options for flex cuts. I got no flex cuts just because I'm not really, like I like foam, but I like to give the board the option of both being sounding good in both. But with the 1.2, you know, there is the possibility that it will sound a little more quieter, but we'll see. Because we are using a pretty clacky switch today. I like that they have their logo there. You can see. This is the board. Now this, uh, what I do like and dislike at the same time, it feels more premium to me whenever you have this like really tight plastic, right? Cause it just feels like it's not like in some little loose bag or whatever, but due to that, it is a little more difficult to pull out. Like you do have to kind of use some force here. Once you get it out, it's all good to go. And this is the board we're using today. This pink is so pretty, probably my favorite pink I've seen on a board in person. This plate is also alu, but it's like anodized to match the, the other parts of the case, which I also think everything is alu. This doesn't feel very heavy. So I imagine that even the clock itself is alu. That is a pretty, pretty, pretty plate for sure. Then you have the time 65 classic time right here with this little thing. Here's our side profile. Pretty simple box on wedge, right? At first glance, but then you look, this has like this wave to it. It literally curves. Look at how the shadow hits, like catches that ledge. And this is also like curved, you can see. Very pretty curve on that. And then the main events of the board is, I mean, come on, dude. Look at that. That looks sick. So it says, designed by Fox Lab, time in 2024 classic. I mean, the detail in this is so intricate and just unreal. I cannot wait to take photos of this. And yeah, it's also, it protrudes out. So like if you're looking at the side profile down here, you can see that the, the piece actually protrudes out. And there's also these little blue pieces. So the per side profile looks pretty interesting. So you can actually choose as well uh, which side you want your cable to be on, which I think is a great touch because obviously it can't be centered because of this. So the fact that they do give you the option to switch the daughter board around to, to kind of be where you want it to be here, you see? That's actually really nice to me. But yeah, so that's the back angle there. You can also see those curves here, how they kind of flow together. And also another touch. You see here, the there's another alu strip here. And you can see that whenever you're typing, you know, you've got that strip facing you. So like whenever you're typing, it looks really pretty on my desk. Like I see this here, and you've got this cool little accent up here. It's kind of nice. I do agree that I would, you know, this is probably a board that I would want to swap out of my rotation pretty frequently. So I'll go put it on the shelf right here. So that way, first thing in the morning, I see that I see that clock and I pick it up and put it on the desk. Like that's kind of like what I would do, if, what I'm gonna do. <laughs> the only thing I don't know if I like is the blue paired with it, but it doesn't look bad or anything. I just think that they either could have used pink or they could have just made it all the, the brass color. 
but I get that there's like the interest of the accent, right? So I think it's fine. Or black even. Black could have worked. Okay, yeah. So we do have top mount, which is pretty nice that it does have leaf springs. So like regardless, it still should be pretty soft and bouncy overall. All right, so PCB for support. There's not much support. We don't even have stepped caps actually. So we have 6.25 uh, bottom row. I'm not, you know, I don't really have an issue with that, but it is nice to have the option to kind of have some different layouts. I guess I would like to see a little bit more layout support. Maybe stepped caps, split backspace maybe. Otherwise I think everything else is fine. Seven U bottom row would be good. I mean, because I think this starts at 379 or something like that. It's so like for that price, I, I kind of would actually like to see some differences there. Okay, so the only other thing I see that would be an issue here is um this, these top mount screws are Phillips head. That's not great. They tend to strip pretty easy. So if you're changing this out multiple times, you could run into an issue there. So I think if, if they change something, it should be that and they should use more hex hexagonal screws. So you just have to make sure not to over tighten this or you run the risk of uh, scripping your, your screws here. For the switches today, by the way, we're using my Ghost Dragon switches, which will be coming pretty soon. Um, so you guys can stay tuned for those. These are a factory lubed long pole from Swag Keys, who will be producing them. Uh, these will be available over at Lubed if you're in the US once they come in stock. Dang, dude. That's so pretty. It's a close up. Pretty beautiful pairing of the caps, in my opinion. So we have no foam in this, an aluminum, aluminum skeleton plate. A 1.2 millimeter non-flex cut PCB and my Ghost Dragon switches, which are inspired by Dragapult from Pokemon, paired with ABS, PPT fans, keycaps, PPT fans blush, also designed by me. So let's see how this how this thing sounds, shall we? I think it is time. Wait, that space bar. Wait a second, chat. <laughs> Can we get a giot a giot in chat? Damn, it sounds good, dude. It sounds really good. Okay, I actually didn't expect that. I thought, you know, with the skeleton plate, 1.2 mil PCB, I actually thought it wasn't gonna sound that great. It sounds really, like, really full and really lively. That's a fire build, or no? I told you to do foamless, you're right. It sounds fantastic. I don't think, there's no resonance in the case, no hollowness. I don't think, I think the only key that sounds off is this shift, which I think could just be me and my stab looping issue with that one. Everything else sounds fantastic. Actually a banger. You saw it here first. Time 65. Is it smoochable? Right here? That's where you want it? Beautiful. Absolutely stunning keyboard. Seal of approval for sure. I could not be happier with how this looks from the top. The side profile is great. I really like it. It's like different enough to make it not boring. I like that you can choose which side you want your USBs on. And I mean, this just, I think this speaks to itself. Like you don't, I don't need to tell you anything for you to know that that looks awesome. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, overall really great. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the ratings here. Design, I mean, I think the only thing that I would, you know, maybe like to see a little bit different is something adjusted here. So I think design, I would say is a nine. I think it is damn near perfect. I can't think of anything else I would change other than that I would like that little thing to maybe be a little bigger. But at the end of the day, it's supposed to look like, um, I think it's supposed to look like that little thing that like you take out of the side of your watch to turn. So in that regard, it makes sense to be this size. So I'm not like decking it hard for that. It's still a great design. 
sound wise it sounds damn good uh which is very surprising considering it's a 1.2 pcb and a skeleton plate i was definitely expecting this thing to sound pretty dead but it sounds pretty great i will say though there isn't much flexibility in the sound it is top mount there's only plate foam included so you don't get pe foam any of that stuff unless that's an add-on but in the base i'm not seeing that We'll dock it a point and give it a nine as well for sound. I think it sounds fantastic, but I don't know if there's that much flexibility in the sound. I don't know if you could get this to sound really deep, but it is pretty, pretty bright, pretty mid-tone and up for me right now. The space bar especially slaps. Typing feel, surprisingly, once again, I think it's because of the skeleton plate and the PCB. It is, it is fairly soft to type on, but it's not like the most bouncy thing ever. So I might give typing feel an eight. But overall, great scores. Great scores all the way through. I think the board is actually really good. I know the price is a little steep. I think it's like 380 to start, but it makes sense considering how intricate that is. The curves on the edges do make a cost. Like they, they do add a cost. So like I understand where the pricing is coming from here. And I think for the sound, it sounds good. I don't think you would be disappointed if you picked this up. I'm happy, I'm happy with today's build. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And until next time, I will key you later. Love y'all. Peace. Bye. Hey, let's get a let's get a shot right here. You guys can uh, share this to your story and tell people to come watch. That's thumbnail. That's a thumbnail.